Hey all, my name is Cam Dean. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Suno Personas feature. Uh, you do need the $10 tier, which is called Pro or higher to do this feature. Uh, so you can't do it in the free version currently. Uh, the highest version, I believe, just gives you more credits. You still have all the same features as this mid-tier Pro, which is what I'm using currently. So if you're creating t so many that you uh, run out, you could upgrade up to the higher level. Right now, I do this quite a bit, and I still haven't run out yet. So let's hop into it here. I am on my Suno. Let me go back to the home page here. This is my account. So you would log in here uh, to the main page. Then you would go over to library. And what this uh, personas feature is, it's pretty awesome. It's basically a way to create a template of your uh, songs that you've created that the prompts are really good. They're producing great uh, tracks consistently. That's how I think of it. And then um, you can label it so you can come back to it and not have to watch. What was that prompt I use again? I use all of these different uh, tags and things like that. This just gets you all ready to go. And then you can share it with other people too, uh, which could boost your profile. And also you can help out other people with their song creation if you want to share it. So we'll go, uh, here we are in library. This is all the songs I've been creating, lots of them, right? songs playlists etc over here you're going to have personas so we'll go into there i've created one i'm calling it synth pop uh, we'll click on that so this is my what my persona looks like and so what you're going to have to do in your persona is you pick a song that you really like so this is the one that i chose this is an original song i did not have a persona this actually feature wasn't available yet so i'll show you what that's like and I really like this song. I have a metal version of it and the synthwave pop version, which I will put a link to in the description. And uh, so here is the title of my song, Vapor, Ma Vapor Maze, synthwave pop version. And then in here is the prompt that I use. So um, these are melodic metacore mixed with synthwave, lots of reverb, etc. And then these minuses are using a feature to re try to get rid of certain certain aspects you don't want the ai to put into your song and this one has been pumping out good stuff consistently so um again that's why i'm saving that and then down here you've got my my lyrics and my meta tags uh right here and so this worked out really well i'll give that a quick play i like i like i said i'm not going to play the entire song but uh we can give a quick listen to each of these and then if you want to hear the whole version i'll put i'll put links to youtube videos in the description so here we go So you can hear it's got a really good synth wave vibe going down. Good intro. And then another thing I like about this is that the vocals don't sound too fake. Sometimes AI sends out really, really fake sounding uh, AI, very sounds very AI. And uh, it takes kind of some finagling to get it to pop out stuff that sounds like a real person closer to a human than a computer. So we'll move on with that. So this is the one that I based it on. So we'll go through and do a real one. But if I had, and another thing I want to share too is you can only create, so far what I've figured out is you can only create one persona per uh, song, if you want to call it. So like if I already created a persona off this, the one I showed you a moment ago. So if I go in and I can go through the prompt, but it's not going to let me create it again. Um, so it just give you an error. I found that out the other day. So I will show you on another song I haven't done it with. So uh, so that this is the song I base it on again. And then over here in my persona, I have three additional examples. And so let's uh, give a quick listen to each of those, and then I'll put links to these as well. So uh, this is synth pop example three, synth pop example two and one. So we'll give a quick listen to each one, to the intros at least here. So this one, again, this is all just off the same, um, this synth pop persona. This one's kind of mysterious, and then it goes into this really funky beat about to come up that I really like. Like that. And then it's got a good voice going on too, as it comes in here. Alright, 
we'll stop that at about 38 seconds here. And then uh, this is number two. This one has more of the rock influence, kind of real life, real sounding drums, guitars, and such. Again, I liked all of these, so they came out really good. Stop at about 20 seconds here. And then the last one. This one kind of came out a little more mysterious and uh, dark sounding. So we'll just go about 20 seconds into this one. Had a pretty short intro onto that one. Alright, that sounds good. Okay, so that's what's going to pop out if you create with it. Uh, so, again, these are the examples. Let's go in and create a different persona. Since uh, it doesn't let me do the same one again. I'm going to go to... I was using this as an example. I created a rap right here full song rain or shine let's go in here uh you know i don't need i don't even need to go into it but uh i got a rap here let's play a few seconds of that i won't create a lot of rap but uh this one turned out pretty good had fun with it um so we'll just use this one as an example Okay, so we're going to pause that, uh, go over to your three dots here in your library, go to create, go to make persona. So it's based on rain or shine, my, uh, my rap here. Um, let's just call it the 90s rap persona. And then you can create an image if you want. This is a, it was hit or miss last time. Let's try it. Uh, rap album cover. Usually it does not give me a rap album. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. 90s rap vibes. All right. You can give it longer if you want. Uh, you, down here, you can choose to make it public, which would be anybody can use that persona you've created to make their own songs and tracks. So I would like to make mine public because I do want to serve and help other people make cool uh, songs and, you know, grow my account here. And um, at the same time, if you marked it off public, I would assume maybe you want to just keep it private. You're doing some testing or uh, maybe this is like your signature thing and you don't want other people to use it and um, kind of like steal your sound or your uh, your trade secret uh, again. So I'm going to leave mine public. Um, it's going to ask you, give you a warning screen. Do you want to make it public or not? I'm confirming. Yes, I do. And then, oh, it's giving me an error again. Of course. Well, that's normal with life. Let's do the pop punk one instead. Every time you do a demo, there has to be an error somewhere. Let's just call it pop punk. Let's see if this one works. Funny pop punk. Bland. See if it gives me a picture. That's not funny. Eh, good enough. Pop punk vibes. All right, try that. Let's see if this works. I think the rap one is not letting me create it because I did create one recently the other day when I was practicing this video and then uh, I just deleted it today, but maybe the system hasn't purged its memory of that. So we've created the persona. Let's go over to that. Check it out here. Pop punk. And then uh, we're, this is the song that I base it off of um, right here. And then we're going to go to create with persona. Here you could go in and Let's do this really quick. This isn't a full tutorial on how to create a song with Suno. Again, usually down here, if you've got a really good prompt, I would expect that you have something more. This is your style of music prompt right here. So I would expect that you would have a longer section of descriptions to create the what you want it to be. And then um, 
so I would expect with a persona that you would not be modifying this uh, because the whole point of it is to create a template you can reuse over and over again. Or, you know, maybe you use this, but you want to make a slight change and try it out and try different things. Um, so we'll just leave it at pop punk. Exclude styles would be like, I've used this before where I want to create something metal, but the metal track gives me one of those, like, uh, just not what I'm going for, like an 80s vocals where the guy's like, <laughs> you know, like it's got that really operatic vocals, kind of like uh, maybe British, Brit new wave of British heavy metal. And I just didn't want that into my sound, although I do like Iron Maiden. So, you know, it just didn't fit the song that I wanted. So I'm going to exclude it. You know, like if I just wanted to put exclude operatic vocals, which would not make sense in pop punk, unless you've got a crazy idea maybe. But up here, you could uh, get some lyrics. So um, I'll just write the, you know, the more descriptive you get, the more original your music is. So um, being that it's a demo, I'm not going to think too hard about it. So I'm making it off the cuff here, but I'll write a pop punk song about uh, Suno personas, just like I did with the other one and how great they are. Okay. So then I would click write about. I find that, uh, just like with anything, if you write your own lyrics, it's going to be more original. Suno is awesome. I, I do use it sometimes. I just give put in a detailed prompt and then give me the lyrics, and it turns out really great, and I like it. I have noticed some more I've been using it that it does give you kind of similar... The style, the AI has kind of its own style. Like a person's got a style, the AI does tend to pop out. Even if it's different genres, the way that it rhymes and structures your verses and your choruses, it does seem to be kind of similar. So the more you can put of yourself into here, your songwriting skills are only going to get better and um, it's going to be more original. So uh, we've got uh, some songs here and uh, some lyrics that it popped out for us with verse and chorus, etc. cetera. Uh, and then down here, you can see my pop punk persona is being used. Um, and then it gives you senior personas unstoppable as my title. So uh, we'll create here. And then uh, that's going to be creating. OK, so I've got my two Suno uh, personas from Pop Punk that have been created here, down here. Uh, I had a couple more. I've been playing around, had some issues with my uh, video recording, like hitting the mute button at the end and <laughs> forgetting to turn it off. So uh, that's why it looks slightly different here. But these are the same songs that I generated that you just saw a moment ago, and now they're done. So let's give this one a listen. This is the first one created from my persona. Here's the lyrics here. Go in and look at it. All right, you know, like I said, you should probably write your own lyrics, modify them a little bit cheesy here, but uh, let's go back here and pause there. Hit the second one here. Same lyrics, different style, so pop punk. There you go. So in conclusion here, that is how Suna Personas, what they do, how they work, how you make them. You can find them in your library under Personas after you've created it. All you got to do is pick your favorite song or your favorite uh, prompt that's working really well. Go to dot, dot, dot. Go to create, make persona, fill out the form, make it public or not, and you've got your persona, and then you start creating new songs off it, and then you can come back, and whenever you're like, ah, I want a synth pop song, write a new one, you just go here, pop it out, and start making songs. So with that, I would love it if you give me a like, comment, or subscribe, or all, if you found this video helpful. Especially, I love comments. Please give me feedback if you found this video helpful, what parts were the best for you, uh, any constructive feedback if you'd love to see other things or things you didn't like you can share them too let me know i'd like to get better and grow this channel and uh with that hope to see you again and uh this is cbai with uh how to use suno personas Alrighty, you guys all have a good one take care